Poutine, is a common Canadian dish, originating in Quebec, made with French fries, topped with a light brown gravy-like sauce and cheese curds. This fast food dish can now be found across Canada, and is also found in some places in the northern United States and even the United Kingdom, where it is sometimes required to be described due to its exotic nature. It is sold in small greasy spoon-type diners and pubs, as well as by roadside fry wagons and hockey arenas. National and international chains like New York Fries, McDonald's, A&W, KFC, Burger King, and Harvey's also sell mass-market poutine in Canada. Origins: The dish originated in rural Quebec, Canada, in the late 1950s. Several Quay copyright bar copyright Qua communities claim to be the birthplace of poutine, including Drummondville, St. Jean sur Richelieu, and Victoriaville. One often cited tale is that of restaurateur Fernand Lechance, from Warwick, Quebec, which claims that poutine was invented there in 1957. Lechance is said to have exclaimed, A section of our fair room mordite poutine. When asked by restaurant regular Eddie Lanus to put a handful of curds on some French fries, hence the name. The sauce was allegedly added later, to keep the fries warm longer. Over time the dish's popularity spread mainly across the province, often served in small town restaurants, bars, as well as being quite popular in ski resorts. Etymology the Dictionnaire Historique du Frenet Section A's Quoi Copyright Bar Copyright Qua lists 15 different meanings of poutine in Quebec and Acadian French, most of which are for kinds of food. The word poutine in the meaning fries with cheese and gravy is dated to 1982. Other senses of the word have been in use at least since 1810. While the exact provenance of the word poutine is uncertain, some attributes it to the English word pudding. Among its various culinary senses, that of a dessert made from flour or breadcrumbs most clearly shows this influence. The word powding, borrowed from the English pudding, is in fact a synonym in this sense. The pejorative meaning fat person of poutine is believed to derive from the English pudding a person or thing resembling a pudding, or stout, thick-set person. In other meanings of poutine, the existence of a relation to the English word pudding is uncertain. One of these additional meanings are euro the one from which the name of the dish with fries is thought to derive via euro is an appetizing mixture of various foods, usually leftovers. This sense may also have given rise to the meaning complicated business, complex organization. Set of operations whose management is difficult or problematic. The Dictionnaire Historique mentions the possibility that the form poutine is simply a gallicization of the word pudding. However, it considers it more likely that it was inherited from regional languages spoken in France, and that some of its meanings resulted from the later influence of the similar-sounding English word pudding. It cites the Provena section L forms poutingo bad stew, and poutita copyright hodgepodge, or crushed fruit or foods. Poutringo mixture of various things in Languedocian. And poutring, patringo bad stew in French comte to copyright is possibly related to poutine. The meaning fries with cheese and gravy of poutine is among those held as probably unrelated to pudding provided the latter view is correct. According to Merriam-Webster, a popular etymology is that poutine is from a Quebecois slang word meaning mess. Recipe In the basic recipe for poutine, French fries are covered with fresh cheese curds, and topped with brown gravy. In a Quebec poutine, French fries, usually of medium thickness, and fried so that the inside stays soft, while the outside is crispy. Cheese curds. Fresh cheese curds are used to give the desired texture. The curd size may vary but is usually slightly smaller than bite-sized. Brown gravy. Traditionally a light and thin chicken, veal, or turkey gravy, mildly spiced with a hint of pepper, or a sauce brune which is a combination of beef and chicken stock, a variant originating in Quebec. The gravy should be thin enough to easily filter down into the mass of fries and cheese curds. These sauces typically also contain vinegar or a sour flavoring to balance the richness of the cheese and fries. Traditional poutine sauces are sold in Quebec, Ontario, and maritime grocery stores in jars or cans and in powdered mix packets. Recently, 
some outlets have begun to offer vegetarian gravy as an option to cater to vegetarians. Heavy beef or pork-based brown gravies are rarely used. To maintain the texture of the fries, the cheese curd and gravy are added immediately prior to serving the dish. The hot gravy is usually poured over the cold cheese curds, so that the cheese is warmed without completely melting. It is important to control the temperature, timing and the order in which the ingredients are added, so as to obtain the right food textures which is an essential part of the experience of eating poutine. Variations There are many variations of poutine. Some restaurants offer poutine with such toppings as chicken, bacon, or Montreal-style smoked meat. Some such restaurants even boast dozens of variations of poutine. For instance, more upscale poutine with three pepper sauce, merguez sausage, foie gras or even caviar and truffle can be found. Some variations eliminate the cheese, but most quay copyright bar copyright qua would call such a dish a fried sauce rather than poutine. Shorinigan and some other regions have patate sauce chew where shredded or cabbage replaces cheese. Fast food combination meals in Canada often have the option of getting French fries poutinized by adding cheese curds and gravy. Sweet potato has been used to be a healthy alternative to French fries. The idea of adding dietary fiber and vitamins in this classic dish is widely appraised by the public. Crinkle cut fries may be used as well. Outside Canada, Poutine is found in northern border regions of the United States such as New England, the Pacific Northwest and the Upper Midwest. These regions offer further variations of the basic dish. Cheeses other than fresh curds are commonly used, along with beef, brown or turkey gravy. In the county culture especially, a mixed fry can also come with cooked ground beef on top and is referred to as a hamburger mix, though this is less popular than a regular mix. Similar dishes. Chips and gravy is a staple of the cheaper bistro style menus, in such places as Royal Canadian Legion and Workers Clubs. In Newfoundland and Labrador, most non national chain restaurants serve a traditional dish called chips, dressing, and gravy. Dressing is a mixture of mainly white breadcrumbs and savory and is often referred to as stuffing outside of Atlantic Canada. Chips, dressing, and gravy is served much like poutine except for the dressing substituting for the cheese. While loved by Newfoundlanders and Labradorians, the dish is not very widely known of outside the Canadian province, and within pockets of NL exiles. In Prince Edward Island, a common dish is fries with the works, which is fries with ground beef and onions, topped with thick beef gravy and fresh green peas. Disco fries, also known as Elvis fries, served in New Jersey and select New York City diners, are made with brown gravy, mozzarella, and heavier steak fries. Elsewhere in the greater New York City area and Long Island, diners serve cheese fries, using either American cheese or mozzarella. Diners in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut serve gravy cheese fries, or even French fries with cheese and gravy. These are most commonly steak fries, brown gravy, and American cheese. Chili cheese fries are served in Coney Island restaurants around Detroit, Michigan. Shoestring French fries are covered with the hot dog sauce unique to the Detroit area, then covered with shredded cheddar cheese. In Southern California, the fast food chain Tommy's has a thick, brown gravy-based meat chili, and the ingredients of their chili cheese fries are comparable to those of poutine. The chili is thicker, however, and the cheese is American cheese. Cheese fries are also served in many diners in the American Southwest. In Texas, for example, they usually include at least one variety of grated cheddar cheese, and are commonly served with ranch dressing and, sometimes, bacon, jalapenos and chives, whereas in New Mexico, the fries are typically served with green chili and cheese, creating a dish that combines two Southwest favorites, French fries and chili con queso. The secret menu at an in out burger includes animal fries, a dish consisting of cheese, grilled onions, and the chain's secret sauce over fries. Around Chicago in northern Illinois, up though Wisconsin and into Minnesota, cheese fries are often made using a natural cheddar spread such as Merck's brand, which is an intense flavor and distinctive texture. Chili cheese fries are a common variation. Boo fries are found in New Orleans. 
European variations, in the United Kingdom, the dish is simply named chips, cheese and gravy. The dish is common in chip shops, and other small, local fast food stores and consists of thick cup chips, shredded cheddar cheese, topped with thick gravy. A variant is sometimes made with curry sauce instead of gravy. The dish was developed independently of poutine. In the Netherlands, a dish named capsalon consists of French fries, shawarma meats or dana kebab, and grilled gouda cheese, topped with salad, garlic sauce and sambal. The dish was invented in Rotterdam by a kebab shop owner who served it to employees of a local hair salon. It gained popularity and is now widely available across the Netherlands. Cultural aspect, a cultural marker, poutine has long been Canada's embarrassing but at all junk food. It served as a comfort food for the local community after the lac megantic derailment. In May 2014, the word poutine was added to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary of the English Language. In 2007 the CBC declared the outcome of an online survey on the greatest Canadian inventions of all time. Poutine arrived at number 10, beating, among other items, the electron microscope, the Blackberry, and the paint roller. Poutine has been a highlight of the London, UK Canada Day celebrations in Trafalgar Square for several years. However, poutine has since made inroads into proper culinary circles, challenging its junk food status. Thus in 2011, well-known chef Chuck Hughes won on Iron Chef America by beating out his heavyweight competitor Bobby Flay with a plate of lobster poutine. In 2013, Jones Soda Company originally a Canadian company but now based in the USA created a poutine-flavored limited edition soft drink, which got international pop culture attention. Acclaim, Montreal hosts a competitive sea main de la poutine every year in February. Ottawa Gatineau, Toronto, and Quebec City similarly hold la poutine week. Calgary holds poutine week. Chicago, Illinois has a festival also. In politics, in a Talking to American segment on the Canadian mock television news show This Hour has 22 minutes during the 2000 American election, comedian Rick Mercer posed as a reporter and asked several people what they thought of Prime Minister Jean Poutine, and his endorsement of Bush for president None of the interviewees noticed the insertion of Poutine. A few years later when Bush made his first official visit to Canada as president, he joked during a speech, I told. Prime Minister Paul, Martin that I really have only one regret about this visit to Canada. There's a prominent citizen who endorsed me in the 2000 election, and I wanted a chance to finally thank him for that endorsement. I was hoping to meet Jean Poutin. The remark was met with laughter and applause. The name of the President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, is coincidentally transliterated as Vladimir Putin in French. During the 2011 Canadian federal election voter suppression scandal, misleading phone calls registered to a Pierre Poutine of Separatist Street in Joliet, Quebec, were made in at least 14 ridings, including Guelph, Ontario. The fraudulent calls directed voters to the wrong polling stations. Through court orders of document releases from Rogers Communications the source of the calls was eventually traced and appeared to correspond to the Campaign Office of Conservative Party of Canada candidate Marty Burke. See also Cheese Fries, Cheeseburger, Velouta Copyright Source, Demi Glace, List of Accompaniments to French Fries, References External links, Poutine on the News, CBC News Report on Poutine Poutine no longer just a cheesy junk food treat from CTV News, a podcast of CBC Radio Q. Jean Nemeshi interviews Marion Kane on the origins of Poutine from CBC Radio.